How's it going on my beautiful weeps? And I have a big unboxing here today of a figure that I've been searching for, sought out, saw, so, that I've been searching for, that I've been waiting for, for so, so long. And I'm so happy that they did a re-release of it because this figure for quite some time ever since it was originally released, was being sold at a much, much higher price, which is just, which was like so unreasonable. I guess, I got, I'm pretty sure it was just scalpers, if you're a scalper. Yeah, I managed to get the rerun of this beautiful uh, Megamine 1 7 scale figure. I forget exactly the name of it. It's like, oh, it's right here. Sneaker Bunko 30th Anniversary Version 1 7 scale figure. But yeah, after after this figure released for the first time and then when they stopped making it, the price went up like two times, three times, four times its actual value, which is just so dumb. But I'm so happy I managed to, to cop the re-release at the appropriate price. But before I unbox that, <laughs> let me get something. Ah, okay. Now, now I'm ready to unbox this Megamine figure. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know, I have I have a Megamine cosplay. I'm not gonna put the whole cosplay on right now because that's like, it's storage somewhere. Hey, if you're watching this channel, you're probably not subscribed because about 80% of you are not subscribed. And if you want me to keep on making quality content, I suggest you do so. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this baby out. So uh, for those of you that don't know me, I love anime, quite obviously. And Konosuba was one of those really early anime that I watched when I first started really watching anime. And what I mean by really watching anime, I mean not just the Dragon Ball, the Pokemon. This is when I started exploring different genres and Coincidentally enough, Konosuba is one of the earlier shows that I discovered. I mean, if, it's, if, it, if it isn't obvious already, Megumin became like essentially my first waifu for life. <laughs> my first anime waifu. Mmm, it has that, it has that brand new figure smell. If you're a collector like me, you, you, you know, you know the smell. Man, did my head, I, think, I feel like my head got bigger. <laughs> this head is kind of, kind of small. But here it is. Sheesh. All right. Oh my God. That was a little more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. But here, take a look at the base. Ooh, it's kind of hard to see the pattern with it being see-through, but uh, we'll get a nice look at that in a, in a second. Oh, ho, 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 ho. the angle that I'm viewing this at is a little yabai. But, oh my goodness, this is definitely maybe second best, if not the best Mega Me figure that I have in my collection now. And I have, let's see, I can probably count how many I have. I see them all in my room. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus the Nendoroid is 10. So this is my 11th Megumin figure. And I gotta say, this is either the second best or the best. It's really, in con it's really competing with this Megumin figure, which I got from Otakon. But I mean, just the way this one looks and the painting and the sculpting, oh my God, I got, I think, you know, I'm, uh, this is like more and more so the light novel style Megumin versus the anime, which I think the anime has more, it's a little more sharp, sharp looking, while the light novel artwork style has more soft features. Like, especially in the eyes. I think when you compare the anime Konosuba style to the light novel or manga style, you could definitely see the differences. Not a big fan of the way this is on the base. 
because it is just literally on one leg, one foot. But it should be fine. It is in metal rods. But I do, I did have another figure that, that was sort of in the same pose, where it's just bouncing on one leg. It's the Mio, Mio uh, k on I think it's also a 1 7th scale figure, this one. And it actually broke off because I guess it was, it's an old figure, I guess. And where I have it in my glass container, my glass cabinet, it kind of shakes a bit. And I guess that uh, wore out the little connecting part right here. But where I'm gonna put this one, which is literally on my desk, I don't think it'll shake as much. But God damn, <laughs> this one's actually, this figure's actually adorable. Oh my gosh. And I gotta say, I gotta say, the view. The view from over here. Oh, whoa. FBI, open up! Gyat, gyat. Small gyat. <laughs> All right, but let's uh, we're gonna get a nice little 360 look of this adorable Mega Mean figure. I gotta say though, I love how creative they were with balancing out this figure, like especially with her hat. As you can see, it's actually attached to her staff. It's actually attached to her staff right here. So then that backside is also supported while she also holds onto it with her hand, of course. And the little textures that you can see, it's not just like a solid thing. You can see how the staff pushes against the hat and everything, like the cloth. The details in this figure is actually, I feel like underrated, underappreciated. And especially, especially with her clothes. Like take a close up look and you can see all the little wrinkles and folds in her dress and the different colors, the shading. God dang. This is definitely a premium figure, I mean. While my camera died, I actually realized that there was this extra little pole here that actually supports the hat even more, which I actually feel like is not that necessary actually, but it is here, so I, I will use it. And it will support the figure even more, I guess to avoid from it breaking what kind of my meal one did, look at that clear pole. It doesn't really dis disrupt the figure at all actually because you view it from this side you don't really see it. But yeah I know a few people who just buy figures that are like bootleg or like very cheap ones uh, that aren't official and just settle for that and I and I all I have to say to those people and if you're one of those people just don't do that because one it is it's a bootleg it's fake and you're not supporting the actual figure companies, the creators of anime, etc. Et all of that. Just don't buy fake bootleg stuff. It's that uh, you're not supporting the right people. And overall, the quality is just not worth it at all. Just save up. Just save up and get a better, premium, legitimate figure like this one. And it doesn't even have to be like this hundred dollar, hundreds of dollar figure. I think this one was about 130, 150 maybe. I don't remember exactly the prices on the screen, but you don't even have to pay that much for a quality figure like this. There's a ton of figures below a hundred dollars, below fifty dollars even, that are so much better quality than what you can get from a bootleg twenty dollar, ten dollar, five dollar price. That, that was a bit of a rant, but yeah, that's gonna be it for my Megumin. What is it, sneaker bunko, thirtieth anniversary figure, one seventh scale unboxing. <laughs> I freaking love this one. I, I, 
Every time I get a new Mega Man figure, I say it's my favorite one, but legitimately this time, I think this is definitely my favorite Mega Bean figure in my collection. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video guys, please do leave a like, subscribe, share with your anime otaku weeb weeaboos. And once again, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye